Hi, I want to read a quote to you. Oh, this is Kim Leppert with Flyleaf Counseling. Now I want to read a quote to you. Um, it's by Morgan Harper Nichols, and it goes, Bravery is the audacity to be unhindered by failures and to walk with freedom, strength, and hope in the face of things unknown. And I love that quote because bravery isn't about knowing that you can do something. Bravery isn't about a lack of fear. Um, bravery is about being terrified and doing something anyway. Bravery is being that skinny kid in school that stands up to a bully. Bravery is going to your teacher and saying, I did not do my homework, I really need some help, and not trying to make up excuses. Bravery is going to your boss and saying, yeah, I screwed up. Uh, being brave is, is coming into therapy and having a lifetime of trauma that you've spent your life, you spent every, every bit of energy you have avoiding and you walk in and you lean into that pain because you know healing is gonna come. You don't know the outcomes of those events. You just know it's the right thing to do. And you also know that you're afraid to do it. Um, we are seeing so much bravery in the world right now. We're seeing unkindness, we're seeing pain, we're seeing people act out of fear in ways that are hurtful to other people. What I want you to really start looking for though, are those people who are acting in spite of fear to help other people. There's something really beautiful about that. And people make it look easy. They make it look like they're not afraid, but they are when someone speaks out about something that maybe other people don't agree with. Or when you have these, these beautiful teachers doing all this work online, they've never done it before. They don't know what's gonna happen. You have people in the world standing up for other people and you don't know how the outcomes are gonna go. You just know that it's the right thing to do. Um, and so sometimes, at least right now, kindness is actually kind of an act of bravery. Um, I had the experience recently of leaning over to pick up something that somebody dropped and having them tell me not to touch their stuff. And I, I wasn't trying to do it out of, you know, being mean or passing on germs. I was just trying to be nice. But so what is happening is that that being kind now is being um, almost seen as being invasive to people. And so I really want us to take a step back and just so may, maybe lean into your own fears and allow someone to be kind to you. Um, and don't stop being kind to other people, especially not out of fear. Um, bravery is a beautiful thing. We see it in our children. Oh my God, kids are the bravest little things ever. Um, and, and we expect it from them, but we really have to honor that space and give credit for people who are really pushing past their limits. Um, and so if we spend some time maybe on our social media and in our news, not noticing, I can't say not notice because it's there. There's so many unkind things happening, but look in there, look for the brave people, look for the things to celebrate, look for the people going against the grain because those are the people that are really truly our heroes. And I hope that you become one of them. Recognition or not, heroism isn't about being recognized. It's about just doing the right thing and sometimes being afraid to do it, but doing it because it's the right thing to do. So just kind of some food for thought in this kind of trying age. Um, if you'd like some more information on me, Stephanie Alley or Kimberly, you can go to flyleafcounseling.com. And you can also find us on YouTube at Flyleaf Counseling. And I hope you're having a great day and take some risks, live life. Life is more exciting when there's a fear of failure because there's always, always a chance of success. So I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.